what are the most common issues that Asian guys have when they ask for help on the internet? Let's run this clip of this motivational Chinese beaver. Boom! Listen, guys, if that doesn't get you going, I don't know what is. Remember, these videos are only designed to help, not to hurt. Number one, this is the first archetype pattern that you see. You may see this in your own life. You may see this in your friend's circle, cousin, a cousin's cousin, whatever. I didn't like myself, but I was compensating with the hype beast, hype feast lifestyle. Let's take a look at this guy's situation. He got the Givenchy hat on and an expensive hoodie. He looks like he's eating udon in Tokyo. He's got the APC denim t-shirt on. He's got the monogram logo mania going on, but he's out of shape. The glasses are not fat flattering and it just doesn't look like, it looks like somebody who's like maybe accumulating points through consumption rather than production in terms of production that they're putting or investment that they're putting in themselves they're investing in like supreme resale assets so moving on uh moving on to his glow up boom here he is i think he's like part filipino at least that's why this bruno mars look is working for him he's also kind of got some shaggy broccoli cut he just looks more like a like a cool host of like a tech show in asia now or a pop culture show in asia and i just think that the reason why this is such a relevant archetype to asian guys and the reason why i do these videos is because asian guys are going to go through a lot of different things that other groups of people it's just they have a lower probability of going through i see a lot of asian guys lean into hype beastism because a lot of hype beastism comes from japan right obviously and then hype beast is centered in hong kong and it's like these are ways to be like extroverted and geeky at the same time but ultimately the hype beast thing is kind of going out and people are more, it's not that you still can't be into it, but you can mix it with more of a menswear, fitness, fashion, high fashion look, or more like fashion, fashion look, because I just think that streetwear in terms of the sense of Supreme, and I know all about it, the Fairfaxes and the Sohos and the LESs and the Harajukus and all this different things. It's like, look, I mean, Supreme is kind of on its way out. You see the memes dissing it. And I just think that if you're out of shape and you're just not even looking remotely you know in an as presentable as you could just because you have a thousand dollar pairs of sneakers that's going for resale and maybe you hit on the sneakers app or whatever it just it's not going to matter in 2024 guys so uh kudos to this guy for breaking out of the hype beast and hype feast lifestyle moving on to number two uh, we got this guy he says my relatives tell me i'm good looking but some girls think i'm too geeky or nerdy let's take a look at his photos right here here he is at what is that top golf or something like that here he is kind of at a some sort of nhl game or some sort of i don't know if that that looks like minor league maybe and uh here he is swimming here he is playing chess he looks smart like he's probably gonna beat you at chess i wouldn't want to challenge him or bet any money on that game and he is a software engineer from berkeley so i'll tell you this i would bet money that his parents are probably from mainland china they're probably academics or stress academics if they're not academics themselves. And then number two, he probably was not allowed to consume what they would consider, yeah, we don't want you uh, to consume this like degenerate, like Chinese uh, American pop culture growing up, which is good. So, that, so there's everything has pros and cons, guys. Like a lot of swords are double-sided, right? So that probably allowed him to focus growing up and complete the software engineering pro program at Berkeley, which if you guys know was like top three. And so he has a very high likelihood at this point of becoming a multimillionaire for the rest of his life, right? Uh, whether it's way in the millions or just in the light millions, that's up to him and now he doubles down or whatever, right? But I'm saying that on the other side, it probably put him in this cultural sphere where it's like being a geek is really cool because how you sort of make it as a top level computer engineer or software engineer oftentimes is like being in that sphere. But if he wants to get like hot American chicks now, they're not gonna be from that same cultural sphere that he was able to be siloed in. So it depends on what he wants. If he wants to date maybe like another, like a mainland Chinese fob girl that doesn't dock really a lot of points for being a nerd, or maybe she's a nerd or a, an attractive nerd herself, that's gonna work but it, it appears that he may like like for example it, just judging from his profile he probably likes white girls or hopper girls or something like that they are gonna be more from the other cultural sphere and not like that 
on a probability basis. So he's running into an alignment issue. You guys got to understand a lot of things are based off like fishbowl. For example, there's a lot of memes and this is true. Uh, like in Eastern Europe, like Albanian dudes or something like that, they could be super chunky and date a girl who looks like Dua Lipa. And they could have like, as long as they're like masculine and muscular, even if they have really high body fat, that's acceptable in certain cultures like Turkey, Eastern Europe. It's just like projecting power that way. But that chunkiness is going to play against you in an American fishbowl where people are more like looking for Brad Pitt in Fight Club aesthetics. You know what I mean? Or Cristiano Ronaldo or something like that. And it's like, it just goes to show you that fishbowl matters so much. So if you're like a chunky dude with some bread, go to Eastern Europe. You know what I'm saying? But you, you have to understand what fishbowls you're inhabiting, even within this larger American pool, right? Because it's just like the ocean, right? There's like micro streams and micro tides and little different things. It's a, You guys get what I mean. Point number three. This guy says, should I be the white fishing guy? Or should I Kevin win Max? So let's take a look at him. Here he is at a baseball game. This is going to more fit in line with like sporty state school white guy, frat guy. He's got the canoe, also country. I don't even know where this is some sort of like thing with a monster energy drink. He looks like he should go on an ATV and go paintballing or go shoot some frogs or whatever like that. But then here he is moving towards the AZN Asian lane, but it's kind of a mixture between AZN and like Asian Asian because he's got the cause statue, right? Which is your typical thing. I think that's kind of out. Take that out. And then, uh, yeah, here he is, Kevin Win, Kevin winning it out with his last two photos. He's got, of course, the black long sleeve. That's that's 20, 30 years old. That's back to like when dudes was named like Truk and stuff like that. But obviously, this is the updated version. Um, yeah, you know, he's got the car. So basically, what I would say is realistically, if he, for to achieve the goals that I'm assuming he's asking for, he's going to need a Kevin Winmax. Like, you could white fishing guy, state school, frat bro it out, but, like, you're just going to be shrinking your pool because girls who like Asian guys are more going to go for the Kevin Win look. I'm just keeping it real. Like, you know, I'm not talking about the morality in that. I'm not saying he's got to go trap or whatever like that, but I'm just saying for what I have seen at the EDCs and the EDMs and the AZNs with the JDM that works better than let me be the fly fishing sea bass dude. That's more, that works for white guys. White guys would not work trying to be the Kevin Wynn unless they're trying to date Asian girls. You know what I mean? Like if white guys were trying to be the Kevin Wynn, that wouldn't work either because there's just an alignment with the perception of the phenotype or whatever. So that, that's what I think is going to happen or what he needs to do. Um, anyway, point number four, I took all the other people that I found on Reddit and I segmented them into four different tiers. Okay. I ranked it zero to 10. You've the first section is zero, zero, zero to zero to 2.5. So this is your low tier. Um, as you can see here, it's a lot of guys asking, what should I do with my hair? A lot of these guys have no clue what they're doing. Like, I'm going to go ahead and say this. I'm not blaming you. Uh, everybody starts off at a different level of coaching. Not everybody has an older brother. Not everybody has an older cousin. Not everybody's dad was remotely fly. Maybe they're, maybe they were even, you could say some people are born in the situations where their dads are like anti-fly. Listen, I went to a Chinese trip growing up. I saw people whose parents were like literally semi-illiterate villagers. And I saw people whose dad had the largest Rolls Royce collection in Hong Kong at a time. So I have seen the entire spectrum of coaching you can get from those two different families. And of course in the church, we're supposed to be good to everybody. Anyway, but anyway, so just let's just take a look at these. Yeah, you see no style. You see no haircut. You, typically with the no haircut, you also see no clothing style. You see a lot of bad backgrounds. I get it. Different people are at different starting points. But these guys got to know that they are somewhere in the 0 to 0, zero to 2.5 range. Um, they don't know anything, to be honest. Let's move on to the 2.5 to 5.0 range. This is uh, level number two. These guys, they know a little something, but they just don't know enough. As you can see, this guy, he's posting, he's got the quaff with the Domino's polo on. I'm not dissing you, bro, but it's just not gonna, it's just not there yet. But you know something. Of course, this guy's posting himself being a gaff. Dude, listen, I work in film. If you're not a DP, it's difficult to post yourself with a lighting set up it's not as cool uh this guy's at disneyland i probably wouldn't post any pictures at disneyland if i was trying to get girls on hinge just because i just don't feel like that's a context that i don't know i just it's just not as cool this guy's got a kind of got the part here this guy i don't know he could have been put in the other category but ultimately he doesn't fully get it you know I, I see a lot of people trying to do something 
Um, in terms of obviously the long hair with this guy in the, I don't know, is that Dungeons and Dragons? Like he's doing something in the sense of like he's being, I don't want to say socially deviant or he's, he's projecting some sort of subculture that may make him unique, but it's not getting it done. You know, uh, maybe some bad haircuts here. So these guys, they're on the right track, but they need better coaching. I think this last guy who's throwing up the peace sign, I almost could put him in the next category up, but just this is just not a good pose to get an American girl with, to be honest. Um, honestly, I think a lot of guys in this tier, and I saw literally connected on their posts, some of them were posting like, hey, how do I look like this anime guy? So these guys, they want to have a role model, but their role model is in an anime. That is generally not... A good place to be because you're not even living in reality you're living in anime manga land and uh that's probably why these people are in the 2.5 to 5.0 category now next up we've got level three these guys are in the 5.0 to 7.5 category and it's like they're almost there you know what i mean like they know a lot of stuff but they need just need to get more work more execution more everything right as you can see right guy this first guy right here you know, he probably just needs to get buffer. I think a lot of these guys, they just need like a few more skin products and to get buffer. Um, and maybe just like, I don't know, they may need to consume different content to be like slightly less socially awkward. As you can see right here, this guy's bald. It looks, I mean, it looks cool bald. This guy, you know, the pose, the jean shorts. Okay. You know, a lot of guys could be, you know, you could do your thing at the 5.0 to 7.5 category you know what i mean in terms of like iq uh this is when you're starting to you know you you got a girlfriend or something like that uh and then last but not least we've got the 7.5 to 10 category guys where it's like man these guys already got it i'm sure they're always already getting a lot of attention but they just need uh to optimize more so we only got one guy in this category clearly he's kind of like i would say a mini chad or a chibi chad and um he may just need to project more badass energy to get to where he wants to go because i'm sure this guy gets a ton of matches but there maybe the girls are more collegey and not abgs and stuff like that so he's going to need to up his badass traits and get even more buff and take more cooler badass photos to get into that zone um of course number eight we've got another guy uh guy here he said i actually have a physical deformity or like a facial defect what should i do and uh basically i would say my advice here would be first of all that's really good that you self-identified that it's a it is a difficult thing like we said everybody's born with like different cards in life you know and uh i think one you could get super duper jacked if you wanted to and that could counteract it but ultimately some sort of corrective surgery down the line to fix like for example like a hyper recessive jaw is gonna be something that is on the table you may want to look into different jobs that offer the uh tier of insurance that where eventually you can get that if you feel like that's your major issue but until then you can fix you know like i said fix your skin and get super jacked um those are the solutions on the table in the moment obviously you know you can shift your fishbowl you can move back to asia you know there's a lot of things that are just sort of a more extreme and more like life-changing things that you that you could do but those those would actually have an impact as well so ultimately guys this is just a quick video i was just taking a look through reddit um like i said these videos are only to help not to hurt uh everybody has such a different baseline genetically from their family coaching wise i think these are really common patterns i think my favorite one that i identified today was the guy who was a former hype beast slash hype feast who wanted to move away from that i think that that's like one of the most common most specific almost like asian guy only issues you know it's like the cause figurines and the bare bricks are not gonna cut your body fat and up your muscle density or muscle ratios you know um i think that the solutions are clearly there in 2024 obviously you've got chat gpt perplexity ai copilot whatever you ai model that you want you can even submit a photo and some of those ais breakdowns if you get the premium version gemini premium will break it down for you you know what i mean there's some of these websites it's called um uh face shape detector.com you know there's a free version a premium version and it's like there's so many solutions and it just uh the solution for a variety of people like we said in this post today we showed people at different levels of issue right some people had a lot of issues some people had medium issues some people had low tier issues but the desire the capacity to improve your situation 
has to transcend the barrier, uh, the threshold of where the problem is for a solution to actually begin an execution and progress. Uh, the process has to get the ball rolling, right? So what are some other patterns you guys noticed? Like we said, I'm not you know, the God of Riz or swag or drip or whatever, but I just know what I know. And obviously I have the help of the internet and a bunch of guys offering advice. So let me know what you guys think of my breakdown. Like I said, just to recap, man, we have the guy who was the hype beast, hype feast, who switched to menswear at number one. Number two, we have the guy who goes, my relatives tell me I'm good looking, but I'm living in the wrong cultural sphere, the geek world. Number three, should I be a white fishing frat guy or a Kevin Wynn? We went with Kevin Wynn, right? Just to achieve the results. And then we went from the guys that are zero to 2.5. I have absolutely no knowledge or no idea what I'm doing to level number two, which is 2.5 to 5.0. I have some idea, but not really. Then we have level three. I'm almost there. And number four, yeah, we just need to refine and polish. But these guys, they're already, they already got it, to be honest. But it just depends on what they want to achieve and if they want ABGs versus good girls or something like that. So anyway, guys. What are some other patterns you notice? Let me know in the comment section below. Um, until next time, hop hop boys, we out. Peace.